they make some quick inroads, all of a sudden the test match starts to, to look a whole lot different for them. Oh, well, he got him, well bowled, a magnificent delivery by Goff. That one has nipped back, Boone's the man they wanted, and boy, does he know he's got a big wicket. That was a perfect line, and what Boone did was he wanted to let it go, but he didn't anticipate the movement off the seam. That one just nipped back a little bit and knocked the stumps down. It just shows you how difficult it is when you first come to the wicket to pick up the line and the length and the, any movement that's about the place. David Boone probably justifiably letting that one go with the width of it outside off stump, but it seemed back at him viciously, knocks his off stump out of the ground. David Boone's record at the SCG takes a little dent. Two for 15. Those bowled him. Steve Waugh looked as though he wasn't really positive about playing a shot there, half wanting to leave the ball alone. I think he's helped it onto his stumps. It really has been a tough morning for the Australian batsman this morning. Darren Goff is the wicket taker on this occasion. Just short of a length, Steve Waugh leaving it alone. Yes, and he's gone the same way as David Boone, not playing a shot. Once again, a very good length from Darren Goff. So Goff and Malcolm now have two victims, and Australia are 5 for 39. It's in the air, another wicket to finish off the session before lunch, and Darren Goff has bowled beautifully this morning, as have all the England bowlers, and it's been their session. They had a great day yesterday morning with the bat. Darren Goff and Angus Fraser did a great job. They've come out today with the ball in their hand and a great deal of intent, and they've carried on the good work which they started yesterday. Interrupted by rain yesterday afternoon. Ian Healy, going through shots, brings about his own downfall. Once again, perfect length from Darren Goff. And just enough movement to catch the outside edge. Graham Hick takes a straightforward catch at second slip. Six wickets in the session for England. And that is a very good session from a team that appeared to be down and out after Melbourne. So now they have given themselves a big opportunity to win an important test match and get right back in this series. Ouch! Yes, he's got in! Beautiful bowling! The outswinger may fend it, a very sharp catch, taking a slip, second slip by another duck, by Hick, and Tim May's gone. Tail at the non-striker's end. It's 8 for 65. Well, that's another Donald Duck. He's out, eight down. England still on fire. Tell you they'll be following on today. Keep the rain away, Bill. Get it back to Victoria. Darren Goff's the man for England. He's the spirit, he's the heart. Come on, Donald Duck. Australia, eight for 65. Australia having just avoided the follow on, thanks to the partnership between Taylor and McDermott. You need to finish off Taylor company very quickly. Leg break and Darren Goff has got his second wicket with the leg break. It was uh, Shane Warne in the last test match. This time it's the Australian skipper and that's his first fifer in test cricket. And a very important wicket. The follow one's not on but certainly if they can get rid of the Australians quickly now there's still time for England to get a big lead and of course Australia about on the final day under pressure and just chip that little return catch and got did the rest a very good for Mark Taylor and certainly saved the foe on but a wonderful buying performance by Goff Taylor out for 49 it's nine for 116 Damien Fleming faces Darren Goff on oh, his bowling beautiful bowling from uh, Darren Goff and Darren Goff will now be on a hat-trick in the second innings. He finishes with six for. And really, despite the fact that they weren't able to enforce the follow-on, England have done a very good job, an excellent job even, in bowling Australia out for 116.